Welcome back to the Gatsby and WordPress course. In this video, we're now going to create on our WordPress site a headless theme. So how to do this? We'll first start our project to make sure that everything is running in our project. We'll save view and I'll just drag it here and we'll see that this is our WordPress. So we'll try and log in. WP dash admin and it's admin admin okay so we see that everything is okay so now what i will do now is i'm just going to minimize this and i'm going to come back to the flywheel so i'll look at the folder and then i'll go to apps public and that's the files now i'll go to in wp content themes in here I'll create a new theme and this time I'll call it headless dash theme dash cat okay so this is our headless theme in here we're now going to create some PHP files to make it function as a theme to do this we'll first need to open this folder in Visual Studio Code. So the quickest way to do this is open cm in a command prompt. And in the command prompt, you need to locate this file. So we'll just come here, back here. We go on themes. And in, in our terminal, we'll say cd. And then we'll drag the theme in there. And we say enter. So now we have located our file, our, our root file for where we want the theme to go. We'll say code space dot. And when we do this, this is going to open Visual Studio Code with our project first. So what we do here is we create a new file within the project. So as you can see, when you click, it opens within here. We'll click on this arrow, which is a new file. And in this, we'll call it index.php. So we have created our first PHP file. Then we'll create our function as well. So we'll choose the function.php. The function is where we will create all our post types in. But we'll do this later. Let's create all our files first. Then we're going to create our style.css. Okay, now that we have done this, we now need to create few other bits. We need to create ourselves an image, a screenshot, which will be represented there. I've already pro uh, provided myself a screenshot, so I'm just going to paste it in. I'm just going to go and get it and drag it in here. You can go and get this off the internet if you wish. Okay, so we have our PHP file, we have our index file, we have our screenshot image, and we have our style. So this is enough to create a theme within WordPress. However, we now need to put some PHP codes within the function, the index, and we need to put some information in the style sheet as well. So let's start with the index page first. So in here, we're going to open our PHP and then close it. That's all we need to do. So we will say PHP. We need to make sure it doesn't give us this advices. And then we do that. Okay. That's all we need in the index file. So we'll just save that. You can say control S or file save. Now that we did this, we need to go on the function. We need to do the same. We'll come back on the function later. So now that we're here, we'll go to the style. In the style, we need to put some informations there so that the theme can pick the informations. The style is responsible to give the WordPress and give a bit more idea to WordPress what this theme is all about. For example, the name of the theme, the author of the theme, the descriptions, the versions of the theme and the text domain. So what we'll do here, we'll first say at sign in here, 
and we'll say HR set and then in between there we'll say UTF dash eight okay and then we'll close that and in between that we will do a comment so we'll do that and in there we're going to write a few details the first thing we want is the theme name so we'll say theme name and this will be head less word wordpress theme okay and then we'll just put the author the author will be me lamin singate and then we're going to write the author's url and that will be lam tutorial.com and then we're going to have the description in description we're going to say this is a headless wordpress theme build for gatsby okay now we have this now we need to do requires so that means we need to put the wordpress version so we'll say require at list at least what is the newest version so we'll just say wordpress 4.9.6 so it needs that to be able to run so this is our first version so we'll say version 1.0 and then license so we'll just say the license will be c license will be g and u that's the capital g and u general public license v2 or later okay we have the license in so we'll just put another license in l i see i'll just copy the word so that i don't make any spellings mistakes okay so and then in here i'll just paste that as well and here will be a url in uri sorry and it will be the answer to that will be that and then in here we'll have the text domain text domain will be gatsby okay we save this so we have a function we have a index and we have our ear screenshot and we have information that wordpress is going to pick now we're going to go back to our wordpress okay in here so we'll just go on view website okay we'll just make sure we are logged in so okay now we've gone back to themes and in themes if you notice you can see that we have a theme here it says headless wordpress theme and if you click on this it will give you a few information of the things that we have just done so we've created few information and you've seen that so we can activate this and now you have created your first wordpress headless theme so let's have a look few other things let's check in it and see more details of the theme as you can see we have that we have the version one ah uh, so i can notice that there are some informations that are probably spelled wrong and they're not giving us the correct information here so we'll just go back to the air we'll come to styles uh, so you can see here on the author there's two duplication of author one needs to be author url 
and the other one is just author so we'll just say you are you are out just like that to make sure everything seems to be okay you are right and that's fine and then we'll look the description is correct that's fine the require is fine uh, so you can see there is some misspelling mistakes here so I'll just make sure that that spelling mistake is right so it's correct now yeah so everything seems to be okay so if I save this and we go back to our WordPress so we just refresh this and you can see that there's a link here now so when I click on this link it will take us to the website